Hello lovey dovies, welcome again to my channel, to our channel. It's a channel for all of us because I know you are enjoying my content, I know you are learning, I know you are waiting and looking so much forward to grow. And that is why I am here to give you information, tips and opportunities to make you move to your next level. And that is why I'm here. My name is Rebecca Ajeman. I'm a registered nurse. And today I'm going to be discussing OET. For those of you who do not know OET, watch this video to the end so that you know what OET is all about. The new hash, the latest hash, it is going on so, so well. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe, hit the subscription button, click on the notification bell, because your girl, I'm going to give you information that is going to help you. If you're already on this channel, thanks so, 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 so much for subscribing to this channel. Over 100 subscriptions in less than two weeks. Like, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for liking, for your feedback, for your comments, um, for your emails. Like, everything about you is, is, is like, it's too much. Thank you guys so, so much. Today it's about OET and the new changes. Like you guys, I don't know if you heard it and I don't know your thoughts about it. We are going to discuss. If you think this decision is right, write it in the comment section. Whatever you think about this decision, write it in the comment section. Let's discuss. Let's move forward. If it's not good for us, try to vent out your opinion. Okay? So let's get started for the day. So all it is stands for occupational English test. And if you've been following my videos, my previous videos, I've been talking about IELTS and OET, like so, so much. I always repeat saying, IELTS and OET. So I've done a video on IELTS or IELTS. If you want to know what IELTS is, go into my playlist. It is there you can watch. And today we are talking about OET. So OET means Occupational English Test. And from the day, from the from the name, you can know that it is for people who are looking forward to travel, who are health workers. Occupational. It means an occupation. You should be working. And this exam is accepted in countries like the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Dubai, Namibia, and so on. It's not all countries that have um, you know, accepted OET, but OET is also growing, just like IELTS, and some countries are gradually adopting it. And if you want to go to school in an English-speaking country, you cannot use OET for now. I know maybe with time, as time goes on, some of the institutions are really going to accept it and buy into the idea. But for now, if you want to go to school in the UK, US, Canada, Australia, and all that, you may not be able to use the occupational English test. And this test is designed for 12 category of healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, radiographers, um, dentists, dietitians, who are looking forward to practice in English speaking countries. And there are some truths about OET, like OET has value for money. Though it's quite expensive, the price of OET is about twice the price of IELTS. But OET has value for money. And so if you are writing IELTS like repeatedly and you're not hitting your BAM score, you can consider OET. So OET um, validity is also for two years and the results are mostly released about three to four weeks after you write your exam. Most of the times it's three weeks, but if something happens, especially if it's a festive season, you, you should expect your results somewhere around a month. Or maybe between three to four weeks, you should have your results. And OET has value for money, as I said, and it is health related. It's related to your field of practice. And so if you're a nurse and you're writing OET, you should see questions Relating to nursing, in all the four models, OET also has listening, reading, writing, and speaking. You should see questions relating to your field of work. And what makes OET so beautiful is that 
if you're a nurse and you've been practicing for some time or you have attended nursing training school you should find OET very 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 interesting because it's related you can like relate with OET so you just need to know the structure of the test and practice 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 so I'll be conversant with the nature of the test and all that and for OET you know like IELTS um, you have 40 questions for listening and reading by OET you have 42 questions for listening and reading and if you want to migrate to the UK and you are using OET you need um, a band a grade B for listening reading and speaking and a C class in writing and if you want somebody to help you with OET like that girl is really worrying me that's my big my little girl I'm coming I locked them outside because I wanted to do this video like they are disturbing me so much. If you want to get somebody to help you out with writing your OE team, I'll, you can comment in the comment section down below and I will help you. So OET is easier to understand, easier to grasp, easier to pass like the passing rate for OET is very high, higher than ILTS and a lot of people get their required band score at the first setting like the past first attempt and so if you're writing IELT like twice three times a friend of mine wrote 18 times IELT before on the 18th setting he had his required band score and I don't see why you should do that if you are bored and you want your process to be expedited you should consider writing OET so I get what you want as quickly as possible and let's come to the topic of the day like the Cambridge Assessment Center in Australia that's the OAT Center has decided that because of the pandemic the COVID-19 pandemic and the all that is happening around the world they want to send OAT to your homes like guys you can just sit in your, the comfort of your home behind your laptop and write your OAT peacefully without traveling especially for those who do not have OET centers in their countries you have to travel a lot of people travel cross borders go overseas spend money energy everything to write this test but now because of the COVID-19 OET center is trying to bring OET to your doorstep so that you can stay in the comfort of your home register your exam for your test date is due you sit behind a computer and you write it. Like guys, as I said, this one is a topic for discussion. Whatever your views are, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. It has pros and cons, a whole lot of advantages and disadvantages. The advantages, it helps you to save time, in my opinion. It helps you to save time, especially if you don't have the center in your country where you have to travel, you can just save all this time, you can save money, the money for transportation and all that the stress you have to go through are all like slashed. You have to, you can just stay in your house and write this test and your results will come out and you download it on your portal. That is one. And also, you can be relaxed because you are not under any examination environment where you are going to be examined, like you are going to be vigilated examiners all over looking at you sometimes the face alone can get you so scared and I don't know the plans they are putting in place to um, send us exam online but I know there is a trial going on where they are going to try how the whole structure is going to be and when the plan is fully out we can have it successfully but some people are also saying that it won't help especially if you are not IT inclined if you don't know if you don't know much about IT, how are you going to write this test, how are you going to like write, especially with the reading, you have to answer 42 questions in one hour, and the reading, OET is divided, the reading is divided into three parts, reading parts A, B, and C, and the part A is done in 15 minutes, in 15 minutes you have to answer 20 questions, and it's like magic, it comes so, so fast, sometimes you don't know where to locate your answers and all that, and people are beginning to think, how can we do this, when like everything is going to be so um it looks so impossible for some people 
to me it, it has advantages it has its advantages as it stands now we have to wait for the trial to go on and if it's successful i think it's okay because you don't have to travel especially if you don't have a center in your country but if you have a center in your country then i don't know maybe you, you wouldn't see the value of this online thing and everything that comes with it but guys in everything as i said oet has value for money oet is related oet is easy to understand it's easy to grasp it's easy to pass so if you are considering to quit your journey or your um work abroad because you are not hitting your bank score in ielts consider oet rethink oet and we pray this trial be successful in my opinion i think if they are selling it online it's good news but they should increase the examination time and so for reading if it's one hour it used to be one hour now it should be like one hour 20 minutes or one hour 10 minutes so that that 10 minutes extra time can blend or balance for it being online so that is my thoughts whatever your thoughts are write it in the comment section below and we'll forward all these comments to Cambridge Assessment Centre for them to know what we also think about their decision. I wish you the very best. As I said, if you want a coach to help you to get your OAT bank score at your first sitting, comment in the comment section down below or check on my email that I'll be providing in my description box and I will hook you up. I wish you the very best, the very best. I'm trying to put up other videos on um, moving to the UK as a nurse and all those stuff. So subscribe, share, like, give it a thumbs up and thanks for always coming back to this channel. Bye!